more people in places are switching to energy saving LED bulbs. Now a California company is turning those cutting edge lights into networks. They can send and receive data, but as Bill Whitaker shows us, the technology creating new opportunities also raises privacy concerns. Should you find yourself in Terminal B at Newark Airport, look up. Those aren't just new lights, they're smart lights. A sophisticated array of LED fixtures with built-in sensors and cameras connected over a wireless network. They monitor security, the flow of foot traffic. Newark's primarily interested in energy savings. Hugh Martin is president of Sensity, the Silicon Valley company that developed the smart lights at Newark and this parking garage in San Jose. So these lights, they sense that we're walking? Yeah, there's a motion sensor in each individual light. What does this do as far as energy? This week we saved about 3,500, over $182,000 a year in energy saved just from this. Across the globe, cities are phasing out old energy wasting incandescent and sodium bulbs and replacing them with LEDs, which can act as a power hub that can be tailored for high tech add ons. That's the smart part. They're also 90% more efficient, longer lasting, and much brighter. Whoa, that is bright. There are about four billion outside lights in the world today. Imagine all these lights connected in one global network. This is one of just a few places in the country where a smart light network has been installed. This Silicon Valley building uses it primarily for security. And here's how it works. There are 40 lamp posts in this lot holding 83 LED lights connected to seven cameras in a seamless grid that is tracking and recording my every move. So we do use the license plate recognition and we also can detect people. Kevin Kirk is chief engineer for the Shorenstein Company, which owns this building. The company plans to install smart lights at their properties across the country. Everything goes up into the cloud, so we can access everything from anywhere. The future is limitless for this technology. The smart light network has the ability to spot an unattended bag at an airport and alert security, show drivers to empty parking spaces, alert shoppers of sales as they walk past retailers. Existing LED lights can be retrofitted with sensors to monitor pollution, measure snowfall, sniff out a dirty bomb before it can spew radiation. There's no end to the kind of information you could gather. Yep. And therein lies the problem. In the future, the smart network could track every place we go, everything we buy, everything we do all the time. It sounds rather Orwellian. Wouldn't at least the parents of um, kids at a school feel better if they knew that there was a analytic that looked for objects that could be guns on people that were coming into the school? Wouldn't that be a good thing? We're all to both benefiting and at risk from this. Dr. Linton Wells with the National Defense University in Washington says technology is evolving faster than our policies to control it. So I think the onus has to be on the citizen. It's your information that's, uh, that's at risk out there. Is the technology getting ahead of us? If we don't have the technology, we won't confront the issues and we won't figure out the right way. With a smart light network, the future can be bright if we're smart about how we use it. For CBS This Morning, Bill Whitaker, Sunnyvale, California. Man, the velocity of technology is really impressive, isn't it? I feel that too, Charlie. Yeah. It's almost like we got to catch up. <laughs> we got nice piece. Big Brother's watching. True.